So hi, hello and welcome, Micropunter here. It's, what does it say here? <laughs> Tale of Monkey. <laughs> yes, this is indeed the cross section um, of the Tale of a Monkey. It's a pretty beautiful um, antique uh, slide, probably from the 19th century. And uh, I like uh, this uh, specimen very much because it shows all of the relevant details of different types of tissues. So I would like to put it under the microscope. Let's have a look at it together. And of course, I would like to explain to you different parts that we're able to see here. Well, if you've never seen a histological slide before, it might look a little bit confusing, but when I saw this the first time, I said, wow, great, uh, all of the relevant parts are visible. And uh, for this reason, this slide kind of combines uh, all of the information and the tissues of, of different, several different slides uh, together. Now, you might kind of think that the, the tail of a monkey is a rather unique specimen. Um, yeah, it might be, <laughs> indeed. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a lot of more information about the slide. I do not know who made the slide, um, and I also do not know exactly the date when it was manufactured. Um, however, it is a very high quality slide, uh, which you can see already here, that uh, essentially it's a very flat uh, cross section. And when I looked at it for the first uh, time, uh, um, after I ordered it, I said, wow, cool, look at this. You can see the muscles, you can see the tendons, the bones, you can even see the hair follicles, adipose tissue, the arteries. Yeah, a lot of terms that I'm throwing around right now, uh, but I think I'm just going to uh, show you all of them uh, one by one. So let's start off uh, with the muscles. Of course, the tail um, of a monkey um, can move. And at a higher magnification, look at this here. This is the cross section of the muscle here. And we've got uh, four of these uh, uh, these bundles here. Um, because as a matter of fact, the monkey is able to move its tail into different directions. Here, here in the center, we've got the bone. And here again, yeah, here that is uh, the muscle um, on the other side uh, of, of the bone. And of course, left and right, we have the same, the same thing yeah, over here. Um, and on the left side here as well. Now, um, of course, you need always a pair of muscles to move uh, the tail uh, because the, the muscles work against each other's. Muscles can only contract and they can never they can never push. And over here, right next to the muscles, there are these uh, also these uh, interesting, uh, yeah, slightly yellowish looking structures. Um, at the beginning, I had some real problems identifying what this is uh, because normally you do not see them in cross section but rather longitudinally cut. Yeah, these here actually are cross sections of tendons. The tendons are made of uh, very strong protein fibers um, and uh, they connect the muscles to the bone. As a matter of fact, uh, the muscles have to um, contract and then they pull on the tendon and then the tendon pulls on the bone. And those tiny little things that you see in there, those tiny little, um, almost looks a little like, like spikes. These are actually the individual cells of the tendon. Um, and uh, normally when you look at tendon, it looks quite different because we, it's cut in a different way. But uh, yeah, for me, I think it's a very nice, uh, nice, um, interesting specimen here. Look, um, what we're able to see um, are also other cells, uh, those white looking um, structures here. Yeah, look at these. Uh, these are also individual cells. Uh, this appears to be a so called adipose tissue. Adipose, that is a fat tissue. Uh, it shouldn't be surprising that there is a lot of fat in the tail of a monkey because fat is not only an important energy storage. Um, but also is very important for insulation, heat insulation. Um, fat is very effective in insulating um, yeah, against the cold. What we're also able to see here now, in, let's go over here. This is, was also a very nice one. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe you're able to see there is actually something in there that should not be in there. This uh, thing here that you see here, this fiber over here, that is uh, contaminant. So we just ignore that. But what we're looking at right now is that is bone. Right, and even bone um, is made of of cells here too. We're able to see yeah those tiny little yeah look at this yeah tiny little um, yeah individual cells. And over here on the right side, also quite nice. Uh, I, I, that's why I like the specimen so much because you're able to see all of those details. Look at this. I mean, this looks uh, to be like the cross section of a blood vessel. After all, bone is a living structure. Needs to be supplied with oxygen and nutrients, and of course, there are also blood vessels in there. Um, I was also able to find a few other blood vessels, um, and I have to find them. I have to look for them. Let's move around. Aha! Uh -huh, here again is, are some tendons. And, oh, okay, uh, I'll talk about those structures a little bit later. Um, uh, that's basically here. That's the fur, so to say, of the monkey. Um, a little bit more about that later. But let's have a look at the blood vessel. Ah, here there is a tiny one over here. Look at this here, okay? Yeah, you see that this is the wall of the blood vessel and inside this white part, that is called the lumen. This is where the blood cells um, can be found, the red, red and the white blood cells. But I think that's a pretty small cross section. 
Uh, here, here's a better one. Look, yeah, here's another blood vessel here with the lumen inside. This is where the blood is carried. And somewhere I found also one, I saw one, yeah, where, which was actually also branched. Yep, I found it. Here we go. That is um, also seems to be an archery, very thick wall. The lumen inside here. Yeah, look at the thick wall here. And look what this is. Look at this. It looks almost like there is uh, yeah, another vessel kind of branching off here. Let me focus a little bit so that we're able to, to see this. Yeah, You see, it's almost like uh, it appears like uh, it's kind of branches off. Yeah, so that's uh, also something that I've not seen uh, before. Uh, like this um, and uh, over here um, is another one look at this yeah so the, you see that uh, the tail of a monkey evidently um, uh, is uh, supplied quite well with uh, with blood now I have not found any veins this does not mean that there are none present but I think uh, that the veins are difficult to see because they're quite collapsed veins have a very thin wall because uh, the blood is of low blood pressure so it can collapse quite easily and I suppose that the, any veins that are present here might actually be squeezed uh, together and therefore not quite nicely visible. So now let's go to the side a little bit. I already mentioned this before because what we're able to see here, these are so-called hair follicles. So hair follicles is basically, um, these are the cells that actually make, uh, make the fur. Uh, and I think it's uh, yeah quite nicely visible here as well. So these are the, some cut hair um, of the monkey's tail yeah, growing outwards. And uh, because we're looking at a thin cross section, we're not able to see it extend all the way outwards. And the follicle are those cells uh, that are around the, um, around the hair, and they actually start to make. They make the um, yeah, the hair. Yeah? So quite uh, quite nicely visible visible here as well. And here we are all already at the surface. Yeah? Ah, yeah. Here we can actually see. Yeah. I don't know. Either this is a little bit of uh, some hair, or maybe some kind of a gland. Yeah. Um, and uh, we go down here as well. Yeah, but look, yeah, here we can actually see that um, this seems to be a hair follicle, but the hair seems to be missing now. The fur seems to be missing here. But it's kind of obvious that uh, yeah, this extends outwards and then the fur is able to grow outwards like this. And uh, right beneath uh, yeah, the skin, you can already see that there is a layer of adipose tissue, of, of fat, okay? Um, yeah, which is important, as I mentioned before, um, for insulating against the cold. Yeah, here, that, that's a nice one. Here, look at this. Isn't this cool? Yeah, here we actually see one of those uh, here uh, growing outwards. Yeah. So um, all, all in all, a very beautiful specimen. Um, I really um, uh, like it a lot, and not only because it's well prepared, but because it's so informative, and because we're able to see so many different, uh, um, yeah, so many different uh, types of tissue here. Again, a huge artery. Yeah. thick wall here the wall of the artery has to be very strong to withstand the high blood pressure but the endothelium that's the inside layer started to peel off a little bit that seems to be due to the preparation of the specimen uh, so it's an artifact um, um, as well but arteries generally are quite easily identifiable because they have such a thick wall uh, so pretty uh, pretty cool specimen um, yeah with uh, with uh, all of the relevant tissue parts here and uh, especially in polarized light just uh, before I say goodbye. I just would like to show you what happens when you change the polarization around a little bit. I think this looks also quite nice. Yeah, uh, That's actually a very typical thing that hair and fur um, starts to interact with the polarized light quite nicely and then you see this color play. So yeah, I hope uh, that you kind of liked this video. I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.